So, for today's video, so may mga friend ako na binigyan ko ng mga question and sasagutin nila yung story and experiences nila. So, si Nika and si Ate Arian. So, isa sila sa mga naging kaibigan ko dito and maybe uh, sa mga nanonood, hindi nila alam ko ano yung buhay of being a military wife. How are you? Welcome in. Hi, Nika. So, how long have you been married? I've been married since September 20, 2016. So, almost four years. What is your unforgettable moment? and the best thing that has ever happened to you as a wife. The okay, little moments that we share together, like when we're having a meal together, when we're watching a movie, then we're going to cuddle, when we're going to take walks or drives, when we're going to from deployment, just every moment that we spend together. An unforgettable moment po sa akin as a military spouse is yung na-approve po yung visa ko. After we got married kasi, um, it took us one year para ma-process yung papers ko para makasama ko ang asawa ko po dito sa US. So, na maraming naging hurdles o hadlang na parang may konting bagal sa pag paglalakad ng papers ko pero I don't want to magnify that because problems is also a blessing in disguise. Katulad niyan, uh, una sa lahat, God gave me enough time to spend the quality time with my loved ones. God gave me enough time to prepare myself physically, um, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. Ang unforgettable moment ko is yung wedding namin. In March 20, 2017, kinasal kami. Yung honeymoon namin sa Coron, Palawan. Kapag magkasama naman kami or nagja-travel kami ni team, favorite and best moment ko yun sa akin. So, next question. So far, what do you think is the hardest struggle you face as a military wife? Isa sa pinakamahirap na situation is yung malayo kayo sa isa't isa. At yung possible na hindi mo talaga alam kung kailan sila uuwi. Kahit sabihin man na na 5 months, 7 months, or 8 months, pwede yun mag-extend. Nakadepende yun sa situation at sa trabaho nila. Or kapag namimiss mo sila, hindi mo kagad-kagad pwedeng tawagan. Isa pa sa mahirap nun is yung communication nyo. Uh, by email lang and parang blessing na kung makausap mo siya by phone syempre uh, may mga privacy din sila na hindi dapat sabihin sa amin yung pinasok mo na relationship kailangan mo lang talaga siyang i-accept uh, maging malakas yung loob mo sa lahat ng bagay yung sasabihin ng tao o yung mga nakapaligid sa'yo kailangan marunong kang uh, ipagtanggol yung asawa mo kailangan buo yung loob mo sa pinasok mo or kung anong pinakasalan mo, hindi mo lang siya mamahalin, pero mamahalin mo din kung ano yung trabaho niya. Um, I think para sa akin yung hardest struggle is yung deployment niya. So, usually yung deployment is like 7 months, 8 months and during that time, hindi talaga kami nakikita, hindi kami nakapag-usap sa phone, as in Parang, you know, email, email lang. So, yung mahirap lang is limited yung communication namin. Hindi kami basta-basta makakapag-call everyday. Like, um, so within four years namin magkasama, parang halos every year nade-deploy siya for ilang months. And then, um, you know, every time na miss niya yung anniversary namin or like yung birthday or mga holidays, Christmas, ganon. So, um, it's just, it's really tough. Meron akong gustong i-celebrate. Um, kunyari, meron akong na-accomplish. Tapos, gustong-gusto ka talaga i-share sa kanya. Pero, you know, hindi ko masabi sa kanya kasi wala siya. Parang medyo mahirap lang siya kasi when we were first married, hindi yun yung parang na-imagine ko na mangyayari sa marriage na parang we're always far apart. Um, hindi ko siya nakikita every day. 
So I think yun yung this is a biggest struggles na na face ko. Transition ko from civilian to military. So dito you embrace mo ang culture ng military. Una sa lahat, you have to know at least a basic knowledge nila sa mga acronyms sa terms and language para nagkakaintindihan kayo ng asawa para pag may sinabi siya, nagigets mo na siya. Tapos, kailangan ko pang manood ng mga military movies to understand their work kasi minsan, um, they are physically and mentally challenged sa mga ginagawa nila but hindi nila masabi talaga in, in, in words minsan. So, I have to watch movies para maintindihan ko kung gaano sila ka-dedicated at kaseryoso sa kanilang trabaho. So, pangalawa naman po, ang struggle ko noon is yung deployment at saka underways. So, in my first year po na living in Virginia, um, uh, most of the time I'm all alone. My husband was always out to sea. na itaon po kasi nung dumating ako, uh, sea duty po siya. So, yun, nangapa po ako sa environment sa culture, sa language, sa transportation, hindi madaling uh, basta pumupunta sa ibang sa ibang lugar. So, How does it feel when your husband is at sea underway or deployed? Challenging nga itong deployment at saka underways kasi talagang may encounter mo yung emotion mo, ups and downs. Um, you have to deal your separation anxiety. Uh, yung iniisip mo how to get through the days and nights, months na wala kang kasama. So, ang dami, ang dami kang pwedeng iniisip. Pwede ka ring mag-worry kasi hindi natin alam kung ano yung mga mission nila. Just like in the movies na we don't know what's gonna happen to them. Abang tumatagal, dun mo na-appreciate na yung long distance is hindi siya reason para mawala yung love mo. Na-enjoy ko din yung fellowship ko kay God. Isip ko na lang na kapag nagkita kami, ibibigay ko yung best. Ang pagsisilbihan ko siya, paglulutuan ko. Ano man yung mga times sa hindi kami magkasama. And magpa-plan ako, maglilist ako para ma-enjoy namin yung time namin kapag umuwi siya. Isipin mo na dahil pagod sila, you need to understand their job. Na hindi madali yun para sa kanila. Pero kailangan nilang gawin dahil yun yung trabaho nila. How do we maintain a strong relationship even for a long distance? For us, it's really communication. So even though hindi kami nakakapag usap like sa phone or like face to face, we make it a point na to really email each other or um, chat with each other whenever we can. Tapos lahat talaga siya sabi namin sa isa't isa like. Um, every little detail, even if it's boring or um, like, you know, even if it's like not that interesting, but na kahit small things lang, kinakwenta namin lahat para it really feels like we're together even though we're far apart. Naka important, of course, is prayer. Like, just you really have to talk to God. That's the only thing that kept me going and kept me sane is um, knowing that God is there to protect my spouse. Ang strong foundation ko, kung ano naranasan ay natutunan ko from Jesus, ganun din yung kailangan kong gawin sa relationship namin. Madami akong mistakes in the past, pero si Jesus hindi yung tinignan, pero minahal niya ako unconditionally. Kailangan din mahalin mo din siya katulad ng pagmamahal ni Jesus sa'yo. No matter what, kahit long distance kayo, dahil yun yung trabaho niya, maging faithful ka kahit walang nakakakita. So, my strongest foundation, none other than Jesus, kung wala siya actually, hindi ko siya kakayanin. Kasi si God, tutulungan ka naman niya ma-overcome ano man yung mga weaknesses mo. So, what we did to maintain our strong relationship during separation at ganun din po hanggang ngayon naman to keep our love alive is ginawa po naming sentro ang Panginoong Heso Kristo sa buhay po namin. Katulad po sa Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So anumang pagsubok, anumang bagyo, mapadeployment man, underway man, uh, struggle po financially, struggle po sa relationship sa asawa kasi hindi pa laging may kasama, hindi ibig sabihin na hindi nagkukula ang Panginoon sa atin. So dahil po sa kanya, binigyan po ako ng supernatural strength na kayanin ang mga problema uh, na kinakaharap po bilang isang militant mo. How will you encourage other spouse like you? 
um, never take for granted the people that you love. So um, anytime na kasama mo yung spouse mo, like really cherish those moments and um, enjoy them um, while you can. Uh, during those times na you're apart, that's a good opportunity to really um, get to know God and really spend time with Him. I mean, ultimately, um, at the end, um, just rejoice in the Lord always, like no matter what your situation. Um, just be happy and be grateful with um, everything that the Lord has given um, because He is good. I'm going to read um, Isaiah 43, verse 1 to 2. But now, O Jacob, listen to the Lord who created you. O Israel, the one who formed you, says, Do not be afraid, for I have ransomed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. So if you invite the Lord to go with you, he will protect you and He will always be there for you. Ang nakakalungkot po kasing isipin is uh, we reject Christ's help because we don't think He can give us what we need. So, but who knows our needs better than our Creator? So, those who turn to Jesus will find that He helps and comforts us no one else can. So, wala pong um, makakapuno ng yung pangangailangan kundi ang Panginoong Jesus lamang. Okay, so, I just want to encourage military spouse, wife, or a couple na papasok din sa marriage, kung may higit tayong mamahalin, above all else, walang iba kundi si God. Pag natutunan natin na mahalin si God ng higit kesa sa lahat ng bagay, and anything else, matatakot din tayong gumawa ng kasalanan sa kapartner natin. And the way we value our relationship with God reflects the way we value our God-centered or God-given relationship, which is yung marriage. We honor God when we put Him at the center of all things. So, magtanim ka lang ng goodness, magtanim ka lang ng love, ng forgiveness, acceptance, and you will reap it in a future. So, wag ka magsawa. And hindi mo lang pinagpipray yung sarili mo, pero kailangan mo din ipagpray yung kapartner mo. Kasi nandun yung protection eh. Lalo na, di ba, nahirapan kami in a long distance. So, Hindi namin alam yung mga nangyayari sa buhay nila, kung gaano kahirap yung situation nila. So, ang magiging contribution na lang namin is yung prayer, yung support and love namin sa kanila. Na kung wala si God, for sure, hindi natin kakayanin. Uh, lagi nga lang tandaan na walang perfect relationship. Hindi man perfect ang bawat isa sa inyo, pero siya yung tutulong para maging maayos, maging masaya yung marriage nating lahat. What therefore God has joined together, let not man separate. So kapag galing kay Lord yung, or blinas ka ni Lord sa isang relationship, kapag nagbigay siya the best at magtatagal. I hope na na-enjoy niyo yung video na ito. Thank you for watching. Bye!